Hello everybody, uh, I would like to talk about uh, chaos theory. <clears throat> so chaos theory is a mathematical concept and it has a lot of, it has a very important application in uh, society and human behavior. And it can give a pretty, very good understanding and uh, it can also help uh, practically in your life. So, uh, a chaotic system in mathematics is a dynamical system that is unpredictable but determined. So it's a determined system with a set of uh, that is uh, based on a set of algorithms, a set of rules. So it is de deterministic, but it is unpredictable. And it is very dependent upon in the initial conditions. So, what does this mean in normal language? Um, like this concept is was made uh, into a movie. It's called the butterfly, the butterfly effect. I don't know if you if you ever seen it. Um, and so, basically, the idea is that. Um, a little butterfly flaps its wings and by this flapping of its wings after some uh, after some years there is a big hurricane or a big storm in some particular area that was caused by that initial condition the flapping of the butterfly so many years ago. So that's a chaotic system. So a system that is determined on every step, it's deterministic. So it's based on the rules of, of physics, okay? For example. But it's unpredictable because it's it's so you know complicated that you just cannot predict what's going to happen. And in the movie The Butterfly Effect, I really suggest that you see that movie. Um, it's basically a college guy who who can go back in the who can go back in time and he change things, and then he can go back in the future. Um, and he sees that something he sees that everything has changed tremendously, based on a little thing that he changed in the past. That's a good a good demonstration of the chaos theory. So why is this so important? Well, to me it's important, for example, because when I think about the past, um, there are a lot of times that I said to myself, that I say to myself, like, oh, I wish I did some, I wish I did that differently, or I wish I made a different this a different choice. I wish I made a different choice. I wish I wish I did something else because I'm, you know, I think I didn't make the right decision. I wish I made the right uh, another decision. I, made, I wish I made the right decision. That's what I meant to say. Okay. A lot of people do that. Like they they think they look at the past and they say, "Oh shit! I mean, I screwed up. I should have done this or I should have done that. And if I've done that, my my life would be much more. My life would be much better." So what they do is they, uh, including me, <laughs> but now I'm just noticing what I'm doing. Um, so they look at the past and look at a past decision they made, and they make some kind of idealized outcome, and then they compare their present moment and they, and they say, oh, and they say, oh, I, I have a shitty life, I have a miserable miserable life, all because. I didn't make the right decision. Oh, I wish I'd made the right decision. I made. I wish I. I wish I did that instead of that. Okay, a lot of people do that. Oh, I wish I went to college. Or oh, I wish I did that. Or I wish I stayed with that person. Or I wish I didn't sell my home. Or like those kind of decisions. Okay. But that's a big mistake because if you understand chaos theory, you also understand that it's unpredictable. So. 
whatever you do, and I and I suggest that you also look up chaos theory so that you really understand it. So you cannot predict what would have happened if you made that particular decision. But you forget that. You think that, oh, if I made that decision, I would have been much better off. So now I'm living miserably. But I could have lived perfectly in this ideal world that I'm creating. But that's a mistake. Because you cannot predict. You cannot predict a chaotic system. You cannot predict what would have happened if you had made that choice. Because... It's possible that you could that you that you would have a better life, but it's perfectly possible and equally possible that you would have a much worse life, that you would have been much worse off if you had a much shittier life. You, you don't know that. So for example, uh, you had the chance to go to college, for example. And you made a decision not to go to college and to work, okay? And so now, after some years, you're saying to yourself, Oh, I wish I went to college, and now I'm doing nothing, and now, now I I'm have to work, and whatever. But imagine that you did go to college, and imagine that you didn't like it, or imagine that you, I don't know, perhaps you could, could have been run over, perhaps you could... Uh, went to a certain place, and I don't know, you got... Met wrong kind of people and you started to behave very differently. You started to be, you started to become depressed or whatever, or perhaps you, 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 you had. I mean, you could have, you could have cancer or something. I mean, you can't predict. <laughs> you can't predict. A chaotic system. So going back in the past. <coughs> And trying to figure, uh, trying to imagine what it what would have happened is an impossible task, and is simply an irrational and it's incorrect because you cannot predict what would have happened. It could have been better, and that's your idealized version, but it could have been much worse. So it's not. So there's no use at all to go back to the past and see what could have happened if I've done this. Or, oh, I should have done this. Because, no, perhaps if you did do this or that, you would be much better off. You don't know that. Like, for example, uh, you have to go to a job interview, okay? But you see that you're running late. So you're by car, and there is a traffic light, and it's turning, you know, orange or whatever. Yeah, it's turning almost red. And you think, oh, I have to stop. So you stop. And because of that stopping, you are too late. So you arrive and you're too late. And the job inter interviewer uh, sees that you're too late. And he says, I don't want such an employee because, come on, he, he's too late. Uh, that's not a good impression. So he doesn't hire you. Okay. So you say to yourself, oh fuck, uh, that could have been the best job in the world, it has just, it has such a great, uh, you know, description and, and I, I really want to do that and if I, you know, so you start to fantasize about that idealized version. But it, it could have been perfectly possible that, for example, when you crossed the red light, that that you would have been in an accident, that you would have died, or it would, it could be perfectly possible <clears throat> that you did the, that you were hired and it was a shitty job, and that you were stuck at it, and that you, <clears throat> you know, wasted years of your life trying to improve and trying to find, trying to, you know, get a, a higher position or whatever, and do having shitty colleagues or whatever. You don't know that, <clears throat> so. And that, in those two cases, it w it's much better that you that you were too late. Because if you weren't too late, then you would have have had a shitty life. But you don't know that. So at the moment, you say, "Oh, I, shit! I don't have that job. Shit! If I if I would have that, if I would have been hired, my life would be so much more great, and I would be so much more happier than now." But that's bullshit. 
because you cannot know and will never know <coughs> and will never be able to predict a chaotic system. This has very this has a big impact psychologically. You know, not only on the past but also on the future. Because the same thing happens when you when you want to make a decision for the future. Because when you make the decision for the future, you start to plan, you start to think about every every uh, possible outcome. Like, okay, and what if ha and what if this happens? What should I do there? And what if that happens? What what if you start to try to prepare yourself for the future? <clears throat> A lot of people do that. They start to they try to prepare themselves for the possible outcomes for the future. And what if this happens? What if that happens? What if this happens? Okay, if this happens, I should, I should wear this. And if that happens, I should take this with me. And if that happens, I should. Do... So <clears throat> every decision becomes cumbersome. Becomes fuck. You know, every decision that you have to make, you have to look at the possible outcomes. But it's impossible. It's impossible to look at the possible outcomes because it's a chaotic system. Life is a chaotic system, meaning that it's deterministic so you can so it follows certain rules but it's unpredictable you cannot predict what's going to happen you can you cannot predict it's impossible to predict what will happen when you make a certain choice so it doesn't make any sense Trying to figure out every possible outcome. Trying to prepare yourself for every possible way. And you can also not blame yourself. So whenever a decision you make, okay. One moment. So whenever you make a decision and it turns out to be not a good one. You can also not blame yourself because you you could have never imagined that it could have been in this way because it's unpredictable. So you can how can you blame yourself in any possible way knowing that you didn't that you could not predict that this would have happened. So you can never bl you, you cannot blame yourself for a decision you made based upon in which situation you are now. Because at the moment, you did not have the information, the knowledge, in order to foresee your present situation. And like I said before, if you want to, if you want to make a decision for the future, and if you try to predict what will happen if you make that decision, that's also an impossible thing to do because it's an unpredictable system you cannot predict what will happen next you cannot you cannot predict what will happen if you make a certain decision it's a fact that that decision will have a huge impact because a chaotic system is very dependent upon initial conditions so if you make a big decision a lot of things will change but th that change is unpredictable so You have to understand that you just have to make a decision, just do it, just go for it and don't think too much because th this thinking will not help you. This trying to figure it out what's best, it's, um, it's, um, it's um, impossible to so just make the decision. And the best way to cope with a chaotic system to cope with life is to learn a pattern of skills learn skills and a good mindset because if you have the skills to cope with a chaotic system with unpredictable events you, you can always use those skills in whatever situation you are so that's why it's good to acquire new skills and what is even more important is to have the right mental skills to be able to cope with change to be able to
cope with loss, to be able to co cope, you know, with reality, to be able to be able to have good mental, you know, capabilities, to know to, to know how to, you know, think logically, think rationally, you know. And what's also very po powerful about chaos theory is the fact that a little change can have a huge impact. Like, you know, the butterfly is flapping his wings and having a storm after a couple of years in this particular area. So that's also very cool about this theory. And it's, you know, it's correct. Like, if you want to change something in your life, if you want to change the world for it, a lot of people say, oh, I want to change the world. You know, I want to change the world, but I can't change the world because the world is so huge and I'm so small. And how can I change the world? How can I make any difference? That's a mistake. Because in a chaotic system, a chaotic system is very dependent upon initial condition. So if you make that change, however small it appears, like a small butterfly flapping its wings, it can have a tremendous impact on the world. Because the chaotic system is very dependent upon initial condition, an initial change. You, know, you, you start to make a change. You think, oh, it's nothing. But if you are the one that's making that initial change, you don't know what's going to happen. But everything depends on you. If you make that change, perhaps someone else is going to make a change. He looks at, he looks at you and he says, hey, perhaps I want to make that change too. So he starts to make a change. Other people see, oh, he's making a change, and the other person is saying, oh, perhaps. I... So it's exponential. Other people see you, they see other people, and then people start to change. And more people that change, starts to go exponentially. Everyone starts to change. And the world changes. So this is very empowering, I believe. It's empowering because you do not have the feeling anymore of, oh, I'm a little person, and I, and I can't change anything. No, that's not true. Change happens with one individual, one small thing that changes and it can have a huge impact. Over time, it can have a huge impact. So whatever you want to do, you, if you want to improve the world, if you want to help other people, if you want to do the right thing, okay, just do it. Do not be, you know, do not be held back by that uh, feeling of, you know, feeling that you don't have, do not have the power to change. A lot of people think, oh, I have to, I have to convince as much as much people as as I, as I possibly can and if we have if, if I have convinced a lot of people then we can change stuff but that's not true things can change by little like Gandhi said you know if you want to be the change you want to see in the world and that's exactly correct you know if you are the change you are you are creating those initial conditions that can have a, can have a huge impact but if you are doing nothing and just trying to convince people that nothing is changing, you know, it's just talking, everyone is just talking, you know, if you do the thing that you want to do, if you just do it by yourself, make that initial condition, make that decision, even though you don't, you, you do not know what will, <coughs> what will happen, <coughs> it can have tremendous impact on the world, so, uh, sorry for that. <laughs> I hope this video helped you. Um, if you have any comments, put them below. See you later.